All right, so there's a cabinet that we need to figure out still that doesn't have a zero on it, so we need a new number. That's Tolman's records. Something about an intruder near a pool. I'm pretty beat up right now. Oh God. Oh, shoot. There are enemies here now. Hear me. Oh, great fairy of the fairest forest. Welcome, child. Will you protect your precious natural world? I will. Follow me. Passage to the tree I could fit through easily. It's an engraved message. Those who seek the truth stare into the pure reflective water of the fairy pond. Yeah, there's a thing. Ooh, it's a valve. It can be tightened. Okay. It's a staff memo. So the guy who fixed the water filter did it by running it through the air ventilation system. If you run the filter pump behind the curtain with the incorrect pressure too high or too low, it'll trigger the ventilator. Be careful. You can tighten up the pressure using the valve handle. It's filthy. Okay, so we need to, we need to obviously clean the water. Control box, it's unlocked. Valve override. Nothing happened. If you run the filter pump with the incorrect pressure too high or too low, it'll trigger the ventilator. Be careful. Oh, it's behind this. Okay. Okay. And then when it's in there, do that. Hey! It's a pool of water. It's a reflecting pool. <laughs> Those who seek the truth stare into the pure reflective. Yep. It's the fairy from the tree. She's holding a key. Hey, we got the bronze key. Hell yeah, handgun ammo. Who took the Ocean Kingdom restaurant trident? That thing is expensive. And without it, we can't do the happy birthday sea monster song. Someone said they saw it in the Witchwood? Let's go check, but that place gives me the creeps, honestly. Fire extinguisher, nothing is on fire. Huh? There's a panel in the wall. It's a model of a crow with robot parts? The very last time I went to the theater with Ophelia, we saw an action movie about a cybernetic man from the future. I didn't really get it, but she loved it. She wouldn't stop talking about it. I got to work designing this cyborg crow, since I thought she'd like it. I was going to propose it to Edward as a new themed area of the park. After I lost Ophelia, I shelved the project. 
I think the eyes the eye is made from a laser sight Magnum laser. Okay Is there a magnum to get somewhere? Watch out for metal bear traps lying on the ground. You can set them off from a safe distance with a single handgun bullet. Just trash. Okay, we're pretty hurt. Oh my god, I'm poisoned. There we go. Heal up. That's fine. I, I really shouldn't have done what I did there, but it's fine. So we got the bronze key. I want to run to the save point just to use it real quick. Nice, okay. Nothing, okay, well. All right, so we got the bronze key. We can likely go to quite a few places now, I think. We haven't visited up here yet. Future, cosmic future coming summer 1990. It was supposed to be finished this year. Now it'll never happen. Here at Crow Country, we can't wait to share our optimistic vision of the future with you. Douglas Pike Park Operations. If you're looking for the machine chain, one of the swan boat people took it to fix a broken swan. I told them not to take it and they took it anyway. You can't reason with the swan boat people. Hey Ed, want some good news? I finally found a good site for our gold mine. It's in Para, northern Brazil. Just like we wanted, there's a disused mine here. The locals gave up on it years ago. It's still in decent shape, so it shouldn't be too much work to get it looking the part. Marv. <laughs> Nothing. Looks like a hole in the fence. It looks like it was done with wire cutters. I think this is how Arthur got in. Seems like he cut himself on the fence. Is he infected? I do want to go revisit uh, the last area here oh my god what the fuck silver keyhole I was pretty sure there was a bronze keyhole somewhere wasn't there Alright, there's that enemy. Oh, there was a rib cage though, wasn't there? Something blocked by a rib cage. I wanna I wanna check the toilet. Alright, the enemy here is randomized. <clears throat> I don't love that because it means that enemies might respawn. It's covered in blood. Okay, I don't really have access to anything valuable in there. Let's go to the car. We want to find the next bronze key. Mara, I want to leave. Okay. Swan boats. Huh. Why is Swan Boats highlighted there? Because I, I just have the key. I don't have a thing. I 
That needs a valve. Bronze keyhole, bronze key. Okay. Haunted hilltop. So much trash here. It's a signpost. The dungeon, Witchwood, Haunted Manor, the Crypt. Glass bottles with red caps can be broken open, but at the cost of a single handgun bullet. You can see what's inside the bottle before you choose to break it. Wooden notice board. There's a map. Hell yeah. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, there's a person. Grenade. Staff memo. Please be careful around the Haunted Manor bookcases. Read the book titles carefully. In fact, it'd be easier if you just didn't touch them at all, okay? I'm not allowed to smoke. Uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to get through this door. Oh, right. Is it locked? She looks so much smaller than this woman, too. I, I highly doubt this one. Mara is a 35-year-old woman. Obviously. Is there another way around? It's possible. Right, I'll go have a look. <laughs> Alright, so while we're here, I may as well... I'm kind of interested in finding gravestones. Uh, because I want to read the things. Oh, there's enemies here, even though there's a regular NPC. Oh, nice. And good, we could run over enemies. That's fine. Animatronic bird. He's hooting and hollering. Seems like he hoots five times, then stops. Is he supposed to be an owl? He's shaped more like a bell. Can't shoot the bird. Okay, that's fine. Tank of gasoline. If you're doing maintenance in the haunted manor or trying to access Ocean Kingdom, you'll need the crank handle. It's locked in the safe in the southeast utility corridor. The code for the safe is something to do with the crypt, I think. I can't carry any more grenades. Okay, well... That works. All right, so that's how grenade works. Stone staircase. Oh God, what is that? It's a trap. Oh shit. Okay. It's a gravestone. Solomon Wesselby. Oh, it's southwest. That's what it needs. Southwest. Estelle. East. Selena, south. Norbert Easley, uh, northwest. Or northeast, I mean. Holding a shotgun, I don't think it's going to shoot me. I think I could use it. It's stuck. Keep pulling. It broke. I guess it was just a plastic decoration. Small tank of gasoline. Okay. An engraved plaque. Here lies Ophelia, tragically drowned, daughter, sister, human. Why differentiate between that and anything else? Just an apple core. Okay. 
If any of the kids have trouble disabling the trap, you can offer. Focus the names, blah, blah, blah. We already got that. Made sense. It's a handle. What's this for? Pull it out. Ah, neat. I broke it. Handgun ammo. Yay. <laughs> All right. Well, we didn't get the shotgun here. That's a bummer. It's a magazine. A collection of video game tips. Oh, okay. There's just another save point. I left the shotgun in the submarine. A shark, 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 dolphin. At least I think that's the quickest way. I was never that good at match. Hey, Ed, what's been going on? I finally set up the address you can use to send me the ore. If you label the contents as samples of geological interest, we can pass it off as an academic research thing. I'll collect the shipments once a week and take them back up into the mine. Hold on to your hat. We're about to become the luckiest gold miner since 1848. Marv. Oh, okay. Fire barrel. Interesting. There's lots of stuff. Tom B. Stone, the year Selena died. Is that some kind of clue? Selena. Didn't I see that name somewhere else just a minute ago? It's locked with a huge latch. Oh, I hate that. It's a lever. I think it operates with the latch. Finally. Hey, how'd you get inside? I went through the crypt. There was this tombstone puzzle and a shotgun and this ticking clock. Okay, I didn't ask for your life story. Oh, sorry. I'm just kidding. You did good, all right? Now there's work to be done. Glossy magazine. Oh, it's an adult magazine. Barf. No thanks. I think this this girl's a kid. It's a vent. Is there something inside? What are you doing? Yeah, I think this is the best spot. The best spot? For what? I assume he uses that elevator, so he'll see it for sure. Are you talking about Edward Crow? Yeah. Hey, would you help me out with something? Sure. What do you need to do? I need to clear off these tables and lay out some documents. It won't take a minute. For the attention of Edward Crow. That'll do it. Thanks for the help. That takes care of that. Hopefully he'll see it. While I'm here, I'm going to take a look in the cell. Did you go in? I didn't. No. I see. Probably for the best. Well, catch you later. Stay out of trouble, all right? Sus. Incident at local theme park. Parents Luke and Patricia Marshall decided to take their daughter Elaine to a local theme park for her 15th birthday. Crow Country, a name <laughs> named for its owner, one Edward Crow, is a small amusement park found only a few miles southeast of Atlanta. It's fair to say that it's been fairly popular with locals, but never really drew in the big crowds of some of its larger competitors. The Marshall family were walking through the haunted hilltop section of the park when Elaine became separated from her parents. Around half an hour later, Elaine reappeared. She was visibly very upset, and a patch of blood marked the front of her t-shirt. It seems Elaine had wandered into a restricted section of the park and encountered something or someone very dangerous. Yesterday, Atlanta Central Radio got a direct quote from Elaine herself speaking from her ward at Westview Hospital. There was a man in a cage. Was that Elaine? There's no way it was Elaine if that was only two years ago. <clears throat> Elaine Marshall, date of birth, 705-1973. Oh, that would make her... Hold on. 80 would be 7. 88. 88 would be... Oh, yeah, I guess 15. And then plus 2, 17. Yeah, okay. Wound across the stomach and chest, not healing due to a bacterial infection. Attempts to identify the nature of the bacteria are still ongoing. Suspected cause of injury, attacked by a wild animal, unsubstantiated claim by the patient that she was attacked by a person. Patient also complains of ongoing headaches and queasiness. Further treatment pending legal agreement between Marshall family and third party financier. Dr. Margaret Fielding, Atlanta Westview Hospital. Ongoing treatment of bacterial infection, currently no improvement shown. Business card. Julie Farron, locally fear, feared lawsuit attorney, 404-555-0129. 
banana peel. Year Selena died. We'll read that in a second. What is this? Coffee machine. I don't drink coffee. Good thing too, I, since I don't think it's working. We re read that part. Let's get the year Selena died. Nineteen oh five to eighteen seventy two. Crank handle, yay, we needed that to go to the other side of the park. To cell door, it's locked. It can be unlocked with a switch under that floor panel. It's not especially well hidden. There's a button. We'll leave it in a second. Or we'll investigate it in a second. Well, here we are. The incident that closed down Crow Country happened right here. Did you notice? It's been deep cleaned. Of course, that in itself is a form of evidence. You mean the fact that they had this room cleaned? Is proof that something happened, something they want to cover up. Right, no smoke without fire, as they say. No bleach without blood. Oh, well, that's good. I'm going to start saying that. It's okay, you don't need to stay. I'm sure you have places to be. Right, you're looking for Edward Crow, aren't you? Do you know where he is? I want to get into his office. It's in the northeast corner of the park, I think. Northeast? Sounds like you'll need to pass, uh, pass your haunted manor. You can get the door open just by ringing the bell. Once you're inside... Look for a way pass, uh, way to pass through the back wall. Right. Thanks, Julie. It's okay. Blah, blah, blah. We've already heard all that. Okay. Tolman's Records, March 24th, 1988. Boss and I have the storeroom converted into a holding cell. Pike isn't happy about it. He says we can't legally hold people here, even if they've committed a crime within the park. I tell him it's not for the criminals. Boss brings the guest up here, locks it in the cell. He wants to run some tests. He says it will be much quicker if he doesn't have to travel down to the lab each time. I think it is a very bad idea to bring the guest up to the surface, especially while the park is still open. Almost immediately, I am proven right. A girl named Elaine Marshall finds her way into the holding cell and encounters a guest. She is injured and taken to the hospital. Boss is forced to close the park. Fear this is not the end, but the beginning. Ooh, stock gate sound effect. I love it. Smells strongly of bleach. To bed, it smells strongly of bleach. All right, that's everything. Hmm. There's something inside this vent, but we can't interact with it yet. Each rock is embedded with little pieces of gold. It's a conveyor belt. The gold has been broken up into little pieces. Oop. The golden tubes are falling onto the conveyor belt. All right, so they're using, they're mining gold, I think. And then they're making it look like actual ore. Wants us to ring the bell. Um. Yay.
What the f- there's a- there's ghosts? <laughs> Interesting. It's a bookcase. A swift and sudden end by B. Slain. It's not moving. Gotcha. Okay. I figured that would be the case. So we have to- we have to be careful about that. <laughs> Makes sense. <clears throat> the note about uh, being careful with the books made sense. Just avoid engaging with those. History is deadly as poisons. Don't want to touch that. Fortune telling machine. Ooh, the phone is ringing. Hello? You came back. Who is this? I'll admit I'm glad to see you're up and about. Oh, the tenacity of youth. He's gone. Is it Elaine? Or is Mara Elaine? It's an old painting, a little creepy. A little creepy. Harmony will fade by Alcuna Licenza. History is deadly as poisons. It's a window. It's not real. Just a picture. It hasn't rained in a while, actually. Oh. Oh, what is that? There's a ghost. Did that make the ghost more real? It's a piano. My mom used to make me practice every day. Huh. It's a coffin. There's a vampire sleeping inside. Look closer. He's not real, obviously. Oh, spooky. The vampire sat up. It made me jump. He's kind of cute, though. I love that. Old painting. It's a little creepy. Song in a Cage by Lassier Suonare. Song in a Cage. C-A-G-E. Swift and Sudden End by B. Slain. Large clock. There's a hole in the middle of the clock face. Crank handle can be turned left or right. All right. Interesting. Melody of the Dead. Allegretto Vivace. D E A D. Okay. It's a window. It's not real. Just a picture. It hasn't rained in a while. Fade. F A D E. All right, let's do them one at a time. I love these little ghost things. It's cool. It's a box of shotgun shells. Okay. It's an old globe. It looks pretty fragile. So many places I never visited. If it looks fragile, can I shoot it? Nope. It's a mushroom. Little mushroom. I'm a little mushroom boy. I'll use my mushroom magic to grant you a wish. Tell me, what is it that you wish? Uh, what's that? You want to improve the range of your flamethrower? To each their own, I guess. Get the wish. Wait, you don't even have a flamethrower. No wish for you. Okay, so I need a flamethrower. I love these ghosts so much. A drumlek, the undying blame for many deaths between 1020 and 1115. If you just put my hand in there, not happening. Ten twenty. Eleven fifteen. There's a large gemstone. Yes! Okay, this is perfect. We can use this on the swan boats, I think. And now we need, uh, fade, no, dead.
If I can fit through, I could fit through if I wanted to. Perfect. It's a locker. Door is stuck. It's empty. D Pike Park Operations. I don't think it's locked. It's a letter. State Court 185 Central Legal Summons. Final warning. Dear Mr. Crow, we sent you a letter 14 days ago and have not yet heard back. This is a serious matter that demands your immediate attention. You should know that Elaine Marshall's family have appointed a lawyer. The case against you is being prepared as I write this letter. Sincerely, G. Williams, State Court. Holman's records, March 27th, 1988. Alarm triggered at 2.15 a.m. Two more guests appeared in the pool room. This time I made sure the cameras were running, so we have proof. They came out of the pool. They're worse than the first. Broken, wrong shape, fallen apart. I feel heartless describing them so, but I have no other words for them. Boss said we wouldn't be able to move them, like we did with the first guest. He spent 23 minutes trying to talk to them. Then he shot them both. Shows the Eastern Utility Corridors. Nice. Okay. It's empty. It's a door. E.L. Crow owner. Not going to touch that. It's electrified. Crow moved the electric battery charger to the southeast underground level. I know that means you won't have access to it anymore. I think that was the idea. I can't carry any more of those. Ouch. God damn it. Ooh, a grenade. Love that. Where does... That's an Iron Maiden. We are not going to go inside that. Watch out for glass gas traps laying on the ground. You can smash them from a safe distance with a single handgun bullet. Glass gas traps, huh? Is that that, maybe? I don't know. He shot himself. What a fool. Box of handgun ammo. What's this? It's a model of the Crow Country Park. Looks like there are four main areas and a few smaller sections around the outside. Edward had his office door electrified, decently high voltage too. I turned off all the main power, but the door still was electrified. So I think he must have hooked it up to the generator somewhere in the underground level. The following doors are now locked electronically. Dungeon, Mermaid, Cyclops, Wolf, Serpent, Crypt, Crypt, Ophelia. There's only one can, can be opened by the dungeons. They can only be opened via the dungeon's computer terminal. It's a bottle containing an antidote. Sure, we'll take that. Edward pulled all the funding for Cosmic Future and we've halted construction. He said it was just a temporary delay, but I can tell when he's lying. Something is seriously wrong with Edward. He looks sick, but at the same time, there's a kind of manic energy in his eyes. I asked Tolman about it, but he gave me the silent treatment. So whatever it is, I think they're in on it together. I tried to spy on Edward and Tolman during the meeting. It sounded like they were trying to talk to someone, a third person in the room who wasn't talking back. But they were talking like how you talk to a baby or a young child, speaking slowly, using simple language. What is going on? Oh shit, he's dead. Guess he shot himself. Should I call the police? There's a handgun lying next to him. I'd better not touch it. You're the police, allegedly. So we have a magnum sight and no magnum. There's a videotape in the slot. Press play. <clears throat> This is a message for Edward Crow from Douglas Pike. Edward, we've been friends for over 30 years. You entrusted me with the running of your theme park, a task I have relished. You have always shown me kindness and always paid me well for my work. However, I can no longer remain silent. Edward Crow, your crimes have not gone unnoticed, nor will your sins go unpunished. As for Elaine Marshall, I hope she never forgives us. None of us deserve it. Goodbye. That's the end. I feel kind of bad for him. I want his gun. Huh. 
Huh. So this guy really was just kind of trying to run a theme park. <laughs> huh. I want to know what this does. Fatal error. Nothing happened. It must be broken. Oh my god. Are you alright, ma'am? Ugh. My head. I threw up. Hey, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Can I ask, did something happen to you? It only grazed me. I thought I'd be fine. I don't even know what it was. My head is pounding. My stomach is... Ah, uh, right. You were attacked. I feel dizzy. I have something that might make you feel better, at least for a little while. You should take this. Thanks. I think that actually helped. I'm so rude. What's your name? I'm Mara. Thanks, Mara. I'm Natalie. Natalie Crow. What are you doing here, Mara? I'm actually looking for your father, for Edward Crow. What on earth do you want with father? You filed a missing persons report, didn't you? Yes, I did. You're who they sent? Yeah, I'm Agent Mara Forrest. But you're so... What? What about the man I spoke to on the phone? Detective Harrison something? Detective Harrison James. He, uh, he couldn't make it. Problem with his car. So they sent you instead? Yep. This is your father's office? He's not in there. I've been out here for hours and I haven't heard a sound. Be that as it may, I'd still like to take a look inside. Do you know how to get in? That's going to be difficult. You'll need the key. It's a big fancy gold one. Gold key. Got it. And you'll have to turn off the electrified door handle. How do I do that? No idea. It wasn't electrified the last time I was here. Father must have only recently had it installed. Why? What's he hiding in there? I'm sorry, Mara. I'm still not feeling great. Right, of course. I'll leave you alone. Sorry. You're kind. Alright, that's all. So I guess with the other guy, I should have given him an antidote. I wonder if that has an effect on anything. It's pulley. I think it's removing the curtain. It's already been raised. Come to that in a minute. It's the fairy. Can someone from maintenance please varnish the Ocean Kingdom storage room door? Or else just replace the door entirely? It's made from really old wood and it's starting to crumble. It's not exactly fire safe. She's facing the other way. Hello? Listen, I had no idea what the roots were for. How could I have known? What roots? What are you talking about? There are seven in total. And I cut them down. Cut them open. You cut them open? What? All but one. We left one intact for posterity, we thought. What a failure. He's gone. I noticed the Seven Seas Mermaids were the same kind of battery as the giant crow. Not a great idea. Those kinds of batteries aren't waterproof. Those mermaids are going to need constant maintenance. It's a walking stick. Push the door... I hope nobody needed to use that stick. I can't carry any more handgun ammo. What? Uh, it's connected to a pipe. Turn it, hold. She's all flowery now. Hello, thank you for helping me before. I'd never found that bronze key without you. Hmm. Oh god, it's... I don't... Well, it's dead. I suppose that's all there is to say.
Oh, the theater. I should probably save the game. Probably a, a solid idea. 